Hi, fourth graders. I wanna show you a quick recap of the math lesson that we did on Friday. Here you can see I've mapped out all of the different rectangles we can make using different numbers of tile, one through 12. To show you how I did this, let's pop over to the number seven. I counted out seven tiles, and then I'm gonna show you a cool trick. I can use a ruler to straighten everything out and get everything lined up like so, so that it's stacked nice and neatly without my having to be a robot and do it perfectly. Look at that, isn't that cool? So let's start up here with number one. Here we made a rectangle that is one tile big, and there's only one rectangle that we can make. Its dimensions are one by one. So its factors are just one. Then let's come over to rectangle with two tiles. We could only make one rectangle using two tiles, and it looks like this, two by one. Now you could have also made it horizontally like this, but we know that that's actually the same rectangle, just rotated. It's the same dimensions, the same factors. So all the factors that we can make for the number two are one and two, whether it's two times one or one times two. Now let's come over to the rectangle for number three. Here we've got three tiles. Now with three tiles, we could only make one rectangle and its dimensions are three by one. So the factors are one and three. For four tiles though, we were able to make two different rectangles. The first rectangle we could make was four by one and the other one was two by two. So the factors for four are one, two, and four. Now let's look at the rectangles that we could make using five tiles. Here I've got five tiles and I could only make one rectangle. Whether it was five by one or one by five, the only combination that I can multiply to get to five are the numbers five and one. So its factors are one and five. Now let's look at the number six. If I build out rectangles with six tiles, I can use the combination six times one or three times two. So its factors are one, two, three, and six. Those are the numbers that we can multiply together to get to six. We come over to seven. Here we have seven by one. Those are the only two numbers that we can multiply together to get seven. So the factors of seven are one and seven. For eight, we have two different factor pairs, two different combinations that we can multiply together. So we were able to make two different rectangles. We've got this one, which is eight by one, and this one, which was four by two. So eight times one and four times two both get us to the number eight. So eight's factors are one, two, four, and eight. For nine, we were able to make two different rectangles, nine times one, and three times three. So the factors for nine are one, three, and nine. For the number 10, we were able to make two rectangles, one that's 10 by one, and one that's five by two. So its factors are one, two, five, and 10. Coming to the home stretch here, for number 11, the only combination we could multiply together is just a long skinny rectangle, which is 11, times one. So the factors for 11 are one and 11. Those are the only two numbers we could multiply together to get the product 11. Then for number 12, we were able to come up with one, two, three different combinations of factors. We've got 12 times one, we've got six times two, and four times three. So the factors for the number 12 are one, two, three, four, six, and 12. I hope this recap helped you understand all the different factors that we could use to make these different numbers one through 12. I'll see you soon, bye.